what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your second MongoDB tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to set up MongoDB so that you can start working with it super easy so just click on this download button on mongodb.com and uh, on your download section choose community server and choose your operating system if you are running OSX then go with this one or if you are running on Windows or Linux or Solaris whatever then go with the particular operating system just download this package and uh, it would start your download in a minute I have already downloaded it right so I'm not gonna download it again and uh, once you have downloaded it, you would get a uh, pretty much uh, you would get a uh, executable file which you can just run and uh, you would just uh, install MongoDB and once you have installed it go to your computer PC and uh, go to your C drive then uh, it's in program files MongoDB server 3.2 bin right and now just click on this uh, task title bar or whatever you want to say that just copy this whole path right and go to your properties of the computer advanced system settings environment variables just select this path click on it edit and add it right here just like I have did so once you are done with that now just hit win key and uh, R actually and write CMD and just write Mongo D right and uh, hit enter now you would probably see an error right now and if you see that it's pretty cool because you should see that on the first install so what you have to do is actually go to C drive and create this data folder right let's create data and DB create these two folders because MongoDB requires you to create these two so just go ahead and create data in C drive and inside that create DB and just leave it blank I'm getting some data because I have a couple of databases running so just leave it blank or you should actually have it blank as only so once you have done that now go ahead and write Mongo D right and if you see something like this and the last line says that waiting for connections on port whatever this is so you are pretty much done with the installation and uh, you are ready to rock and roll so um, in the next tutorial from the next tutorial onwards we're gonna take a look at how you can work with MongoDB and uh, create awesome stuff with it so that is all for this tutorial and uh, if you like this one then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one